Hello there, my name is Kelvin and I will be doing a series of short screencasts that's going to compare Express and Sales.js. So the reasoning for this is I want to show Express developers how easy it will be to move from Express to Sales. Alright, so this video is going to be about routing and how it's done in both Express and Sales. So let's get along to it. So I'm in an Express project and I'm going to walk you through how I arrive at this setup. Basically, I created a new application, a new Express app. First of all, I created an Express folder. Then I did um, npm i Express, which would install Express. So if you check my package of JSON, you get to see the only dependency here is Express, right? And then I created an index.js file, which you could see here. And then I required Express and I created a new Express app. Then I set a port here, which is 3000. Then the part, the bit we're concerned about is the routing, which you could see we're calling a, the get method because we want a get route. So when a user visits the browser on the homepage, we wanted to handle that request. So the signature for the Express routing is the app, an instance of the Express app then the method which could be post delete get for this case we want get then it's going to take in the path that you want to match then the is going to take the handler function which expects a request and a response argument or stream then finally here we are handling the request by sending the json which is going to be a message hello world okay then here we have to listen. So we're listening at the port we've defined. Then we're just doing the console log in this callback function. And we are saying example app listening on ports, which is going to read port 3000. All right. So if I run this now, um, if I do node index.js, then if I open Firefox and you can go look at 3000, you get to see yeah, we have that running. All right. Good. So now let's see how we can do the same thing in sales. So I created a sales app and I also I'm going to walk you through how I did that as well. So I can just kill the server. So first thing first, I created a sales app by running MPX sales new, then sales app, then no front end, because just like the express counterpart we just did, we don't want to to have like the view and everything we just want like a bare bone app so that the comparison is going to be sort of fair all right then once i do this sales is going to use the generator to generate a scaffolded project for for me a basic project without no view and this is what we're going to have so we're going to have so i'm going to close all this so we're going to have um so we're basically going to have this folder structure. We're going to have API, then our configs, and a lot of stuff. So what we're concerned about is the routes. So you could find your routes in config, then routes.js, this one, which is where you already are. So by default, it's going to come in blank. Then for me to route, all I need to do is to pass in. So the path, just like in Express, is going to be a string. But here, we are not going to do like a dot an app dot get like we did in express but rather we're going to do a string which will take in the method and the path we want to match to that method then we're going to pass in a a action or an action here so the action we're saying is that we're going to have in our controllers we're going to have a home directory and inside that we're going to have a single file action or a standalone action as we call it in sales all right so how do we create this action so sales also provide you a generator for you to do that so i could do mpx sales now you could say i'm doing mpx if you are in a node version lesser than 8.0 you could do npm i dash g sales which will install the sales cli but since i'm in a node of a higher version than 8.0 i could do mpx so i don't need to install sales locally but i could just use mpx and quickly grab that so that's just why i'm doing mpx so i could do mpx sales generate action then i will do home slash index right so once i do this now this is going to generate an index file 
here controllers you see home then you see index and this is just going to be the basic action that you're going to need all right so by default it's just going to have a return statement but i went ahead and return a json so this is how you return json in sales on like express where you call rest or json in sales you just do return then whatever object once you are returning an object sales is going to smartly go into an okay you want to return json so it's going to do the serialization for you and just returns json so let's see how that goes so if i do mpx says lift or you could even just do node app.js if you want all right if we do this now and we visit the browser and we do localhost 137 you could see we have similar outputs like the express application so this is express and this is sales all right so back to the the code editor now you could see in express we are mixing the handler in the same route in the same file as the route this would is okay but once your handler gets bigger like you know this is just like a trivia app right we're not doing anything fancy like authenticating the user sending an email now you get to mix your handler function which is your actions with your route okay and in express i think a convention is to break this up into maybe like if you have like user you go to break you have a user route then you have like maybe like a project route you have like so it's just you breaking things up by yourself but in sales the convention is so obvious that once you have your routes you define just your apps here and the actions that's going to map it which takes the conversion of the controller the controller name which is going to be a, f a folder so the folder name and the action so here is the index action so you can call the action whatever you want but for this case i'm just going to handle the request a get request to the home route and you could see because i have sailboat installed i could click on this and this is how the single file action looks or a standalone action looks in sales and you see how good it is right just straightforward and all we have to do just this line of code every other thing has been scaffolded for us and yeah so that's it so that's how you do routing in both express and sales